Bone Setter, Wikipedia Article Audio A bone setter is a practitioner of joint manipulation. Before the advent of chiropractors, osteopaths, and physical therapists, bone setters were the main providers of this type of treatment. Traditionally, they practiced without any sort of formal training in accepted medical procedures. Bone setters would also reduce joint dislocations and reset bone fractures. The practice of joint manipulation and treating fractures dates back to ancient times and has roots in most countries. The earliest known medical text, the Edwin Smith Papyrus of 1552 BC, describes the ancient Egyptian treatment of bone-related injuries. These early bone setters would treat fractures with wooden splints wrapped in bandages or made a cast around the injury out of a plaster-like mixture. It is unknown if they performed amputations as well. History 21st Century In the 16th century, monks and nuns with some knowledge of medicine went on to become healers and bone setters after the dissolution of monasteries in the British Isles. However, many bone setters were non religious and the majority of them were self taught. Their skills were then passed on from generation to generation, creating families of bone setters. Notable families include the Taylor family of Whitworth and the Matthew family of the Midlands. With the advancement of modern medicine beginning in the 18th century, bone setters began to be recognized for their efficiency in treatment but did not receive the praise or status that physicians did. Some of these self-taught healers were considered legitimate, while others were perceived as quacks. In Great Britain, one of the most famous was the bone setter Sally Mapp. Known as Crazy Sally, she learned her skill from her father and was known for her arm strength and ability to reset almost any bone. Though she lacked the medical education of physicians, she successfully treated dislocated shoulders and knees, among other treatments, at the Grecian Coffee House in London and in the town of Epsom. Bone setters treated the majority of the common people since they were cheaper than licensed physicians. Royal families would employ bone setters when the court physicians were inadequate or inefficient. The Apothecaries Act 1815 in Great Britain called for surgeons to take courses similar to physicians a move that would raise the status of surgeons to be more in line with that of the elite physician. This allowed for some bone setters to transition into the medical profession and encouraged interest in bone and joint surgery. As a result, surgical instruments and tools for bone related injuries were then developed. In developing parts of the world, traditional bone setters are widely popular and often the only address for treatment of bone related injuries. Most often it will be the case that there is a shortage of orthopedic doctors and surgeons in the country and so the two practitioners coexist in the same setting. In parts of South America, Asia, and Africa, traditional bone setters treat musculoskeletal injuries in general, not just fractures and dislocations. Traditional bone setters are also known to offer cheaper services and allegedly faster treatment options. In Japan, bone setting is known as sekatsu. In China, it is known as daida, and is practiced by martial artists. <laughs>